just to, to amplify the importance of flow visualization, and especially on, on aircraft configurations where off-body vortical flows are dominant, such as the Concorde. Here we have the model installed at approximately 20 degrees angle attack, uh, zero side slip, symmetric conditions. This is a little bit higher than the normal approach and landing angle of attack. It's not very high, but it's, it's right in that, in that regime. And there are a lot of complicated flow structures going on here, but we can't see any of them. Uh, in the wind tunnel, sometimes we'll resort to smoke to try to visualize these, these uh, flow patterns. And many of you have probably seen pictures of the Concorde landing on a humid day where the vortices that roll up from the wing leading edge are visible. But the water tunnel is designed to specifically expose these, these complicated flow patterns so that we can understand them better and manipulate them, change them, improve them to, uh, to improve the, the flight characteristics of the, the aircraft. So we're going to turn on the die right now uh, sequentially. We, we have a total of uh, six ports here. At this angle of attack, you can see two incredibly strong vortices that are shed from the leading edge of the wing, illuminated here by the green dye. In this case, the, the vortex burst point is very near the trailing edge of the wing. So those vortices are energizing the aerodynamic flow over the wing and allowing this aircraft to land at a slower speed than, than it otherwise would if, the, if this vortex, these vortex flow patterns weren't there. Uh, We've got two ports that are located a little bit further back along the wing leading edge. They're illuminated in red. You can see here how those vortices, that vortex is, is intertwined with the, the primary uh, wing leading edge vortex. I'm gonna crank up the green a little bit. You can also see in the, if you home in on the, the flow patterns of the green, the primary vortex, you can see how stable uh, the flow patterns are. That's indicative of the, the, uh, the high flow uniformity and, and flow stability of, of the tunnel, which we work very hard to achieve. So, no matter how skilled an aerodynamicist uh, you, you may be able to find, before we turn the die on, there's not much to learn about these flow patterns, but with the die on, all of a sudden now there's uh, a substantial amount of, of information and understanding that can be that can be developed. The Concorde is the first commercial airliner ever built that during landing the flow over the wing is completely separated. On an airplane like the 747, if the flow were separated, that would be a problem. Uh, vortices, however, are used to kind of give order to that chaos of separated flow, energizing the flow over the wing and greatly increasing its lift capability. 